We often hear about mass and weight, but what are they exactly? We're all aware that there is something that pulls us downward. But what is this something? It is what we call the force of gravity. Gravity is an attractive force that is exerted between any two objects that have mass. The larger the masses of the objects, the stronger the force of gravity. The Earth has a very large mass, so the force of gravity it exerts on other objects is quite noticeable. But the force of gravity also depends on the object being attracted to the Earth. An object with a lower mass will experience a relatively small force of gravity, whereas an object that has a higher mass will experience a larger force of gravity. Let's talk about mass. Mass is defined as the amount of matter in an object. The base unit for mass in the metric system is the kilogram, which is abbreviated as kg. A liter of pure water has a mass of one kilogram. A cantaloupe and a medium-sized textbook also have a mass of approximately one kilogram. The mass of an average teenage boy is about 55 kilograms. A Tyrannosaurus rex is thought to have had a mass of around 6,000 kilograms. So a Tyrannosaurus rex contains much more matter than a teenage boy. Now we'll return to the force of gravity. A lower mass object like a 55 kilogram boy experiences a smaller force of gravity than a Tyrannosaurus rex, which has a mass of 6,000 kilograms. The force of gravity, like other forces, is expressed in units called newtons, abbreviated with a capital N. So how do we find the force of gravity acting on the boy? To calculate a force, we use a simple equation. Force equals mass times acceleration. To calculate the force of gravity on an object on Earth's surface, we use the force of gravity equals mass in kilograms times the acceleration of gravity on Earth, which is 9.8, with a unit of meters per second squared. The mass of the boy is 55 kilograms, which we multiply by 9.8 meters per second squared, to give us 539 kilogram meters per second squared. The unit kilogram meters per second squared is the same as one newton. So the force of gravity on the boy is 539 newtons. Let's calculate the force of gravity on the Tyrannosaurus rex. It is the mass in kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which is 6,000 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which comes out to 58,800 kilogram meters per second squared, or 58,800 newtons. The force of gravity on an object can also be called its weight. The unit used for weight in the metric system is newtons, abbreviated with a capital M. In the imperial system, the unit that is used for weight is pounds, abbreviated as LBS. A weight of one pound in the imperial system is equal to 4.448 newtons in the metric system. Even though pounds are a measure of weight and kilograms are a measure of mass, Weight in pounds and mass in kilograms are commonly compared. This is valid as long as we are on the surface of the Earth, where the gravitational acceleration is constant. On the surface of the Earth, a weight of one pound results from a mass of about 0.454 kilograms. Or we can say that a mass of one kilogram gives us a weight of 2.2 pounds. To calculate the weight of our boy in the metric system, we take his mass in kilograms and multiply it by 9.8 meters per second squared, which is 55 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which comes out to 539 kilogram meters per second squared, or 539 newtons. 
To find the weight of our boy in imperial units, we take the mass in kilograms and multiply it by the conversion factor 2.2 pounds per kilogram. So we take 55 kilograms and multiply it by 2.2 pounds per kilogram, which gives the boy an imperial weight of 121 pounds. So the boy's weight, or force of gravity in metric units, is 539 newtons. And his weight, or force of gravity in imperial units, is 121 pounds. We mentioned a while ago that one pound of weight is equivalent to 0.454 kilograms in mass. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So we can also state that one pound in weight is equivalent to 454 grams in mass. You may have noticed in grocery stores that many items, such as coffee, are sold in packages which show a mass of 454 grams. Products like this likely originate in the U.S., where the imperial pound is used. And one pound imperial is equivalent to 454 grams in metric. Various types of scales can be used to measure the force of gravity or weight. Some of these are mechanical and some are electronic. <laughs>